Hello and welcome. This educational information is presented by Ursula Wachowiak, founder and owner of The Right Hand LLC. Our network of virtual assistants specialize in helping households, entrepreneurs, authors, and small to medium businesses in eliminating a little or a lot of administrative tasks so you can give more focus to your most critical goals and visions. Welcome to this three-part series entitled Using a Virtual Assistant. Episode 3, Managing a Partnership with a Virtual Assistant. In Episode 1, we shared how to determine if a virtual assistant is right for you. And in Episode 2, we shared how to find, interview, and hire a VA. Once you determine how a virtual assistant can serve you and have gone through the steps of interviewing and hiring the right VA for your needs, it will be paramount to the success of the partnership that you manage it wisely. A short list of key points in a successful partnership revolve around your task list, your budget, communications, building the partnership, and forward thinking. Let's look at each of these and get some ideas on how to make this partnership beyond excellent. Your list of tasks, ongoing, new, repetitive, and one-off. Always have your task list at hand to write down new ideas to discuss with your VA later. For ongoing projects, you may consider setting a calendar reminder to check if the job is done without micromanaging and sending a half dozen reminders. For one-off or unique tasks, consider having a brainstorming session by phone or video with your virtual assistant to develop a plan and budget. Auditing tasks will be based on your comfort level. If you have an excellent VA, you will, over time, reduce the amount of auditing. Provide feedback regularly, both in a polite critique and gracious appreciation. If your virtual assistant is coming up with new ideas, you may want to develop a strategy for them to send you the ideas with a plan of attack so you can review and give thought to them before having a detailed discussion. Budget and work detail. Depending on the agreement with your virtual assistant, it may be important for you to know up front what tasks are billed on a per item basis and what is billed hourly. This can greatly impact your budget. When dealing in hourly time, you may want to be clear on how time is determined. For instance, are you charged for phone calls with your virtual assistant, or how does your VA round off billable time? In my company, for instance, we keep a task timer and charge in 5-minute increments. This is far more accurate and honest, plus it provides you with the knowledge of how much time you're saving in your own schedule. Detailed invoices should be provided so you can see exactly what work has been done in what amount of time. Periodically, you may compare your invoices to your own calendar and evaluate if your newfound time has been a valuable investment. I cannot stress how vital it is to have excellent communication when you're dealing with a virtual partnership. You can't poke your head around an office door or make mention of something at the water cooler. So develop a strategy or schedule for communicating tasks and following up on completion. Consider weekly kickoffs or weekly recaps. You can certainly add brainstorming sessions to your strategy to encourage growth and future thinking. Unless you have new tasks, revised direction, or pertinent feedback that simply requires immediate communication, try to avoid micromanaging your VA from afar. After all, they're here to save you time, not make more work. Allow your VA to work their magic in the agreed upon schedule. If you have an extended team, whether in office or online, you may find it beneficial to include your virtual assistant in certain meetings, conferences, webinars, or what have you, to help them better understand your business and your goals so they can better serve you. I have mentioned several times that an exceptional virtual assistant will go beyond your basic task list. They will help streamline and automate while improving time efficiency. But why would a virtual assistant do that? Doesn't it cut into the amount of hours they can bill? Well, they should be doing this to make their job more efficient, to gain your trust and your desire to give them bigger responsibilities. With an agreeable communications plan and valuable feedback, an exceptional partnership will result in an extension of yourself as well as growth in your business. I suppose a fair summary of this episode would be forward thinking. Say it, think it, develop it. With idea sharing, planning strategies that fit vision and budget, and excellent communications, 
you will find that partnering with a virtual assistant can lead not only to saving a great deal of time, but truly having a partner to grow with you and your company. Wow, that sure went fast. Our series entitled Using a Virtual Assistant has concluded. Yet, the videos in this series may be repeated to help you form your needs and strategies for working with a virtual assistant. Whether for household or business reasons, how you enjoy your newfound time is purely up to you. Just enjoy it. On behalf of myself and my network of virtual assistants at the Right Hand LLC, thank you so much for your time. I hope this educational information has been of service to you. And should you ever need our help in eliminating a little or a lot of administrative tasks in your personal or business life, please call upon us and we can build a plan together.